build without limitations it's your boy crypto million back with another one today's video we're going to be talking about a layer two with super potential so if you like videos like this where we're talking about new narratives new cryptocurrencies like and subscribe man hit the like button you know what i'm saying tap in awareness to the projects you know what i'm saying get you boost up the algorithms all right or join the Patreon, or join the Discord, man. We gonna we, let's, let's talk about this, man. We are gonna be talking about Bitrock right now, and Bitrock, Bit, Bitrock is up nineteen hundred percent since inception. The market cap is only five million, family, and the circulating supply here is sixty-seven million of the max supply, which is a hundred million. So, very, very, very bullish tokenomics from the surface level. Um, you can see here that the top holders, you know, they they hold less than anything of three percent when you look at the retail wallets here. So, not bad. On the tokenomics and the holder count has been rising since inception that's what you want to see from a layer two um i would you know assume that the developer activity is um ramping up as you can see they have a whole ecosystem and the ecosystem is growing every day in fact i do believe that they do have some tokens that has have been launched on uh this chain here so bitrock has its own chain man um it's a layer two that uh implements uh, oh, excuse me, complements Ethereum. You can see they, they've integrated Dex, Dex Tools, Dex View, Sinks, Pink Sale, and Bitmart. Those are some of the bullish partnerships that BRock does have. And they just rolled out the Rock Swap here. As you can see, this project um, just rolled out the uh, Rock Swap. So outside of these bullish partnerships, they also have their own multi chain Dex. So what does that mean? That means that you'll be able to trade swap any token regardless of the chain right so it doesn't matter if you're on arbitron bnb eth you can swap those tokens on b rock b rock is interoperable and ibc layer two so not much layer twos right have ibc interoperability and this is what makes bitrock in my opinion stand out because as we move into the next cycle right um, there will be new narratives, but the narrative that I think could be one of the you know biggest narratives is interoperabilities, making it easy for people to just seamlessly swap their tokens, right? Without the need to first buy BNB or buy in Ethereum. And these new cryptocurrencies are like RockSwap, who are who are just integrating this tech, you know, in my opinion, putting themselves a step of he ahead of the competition for such a low market cap. It really, really could be the next Polygon or Optimism. People who got into Polygon early was able to make super gains. People who got into Optimism early was able to make super gains. So it's all about getting in these projects early, family. That's what it's about, man. It's not about, you know, um, buying a project that's already sitting at a billion dollar market cap unless you plan on holding that thing for, you know, two to four cycles, right? What Bitrock, I believe... There will be insane gains made in the next cycle. It's not listed on some of the top centralized exchanges just yet, but I believe it's on the way. So think about once this project is listed on something like Coinbase, Binance, and even Crypto.com, then you can expect even more liquidity to start pouring into this project. So very, very, very bullish on um, Bitrock here. Um, like I said, the ecosystem is growing. It has top-notch security. The only con that I would say um, of this project is the fact that it's not docs, right? It's not doc. The team is not doc. So I would love to see some type of clarity and transparency from the team. But when you think about key man risk, in my opinion, if these guys are executing, if these guys are, you know what I'm saying, being um, productive with progression of the project, then I have no problem with them continues to be, um, you know, anonymous. OK, so um, in my opinion, you want to at least have this project on your watch list. And this is why, family, if you just, you know, Bitrock simply goes to Polygon's uh, um, uh, market cap, that would be a 676 X. That would sit Bitrock at a four point eight billion dollar market cap and it would be worth forty seven dollars and sixty five cents. Now, we would have to check some in you know token vesting schedules and see how how that set up but in my opinion i don't think that these new projects when i look at history right i don't think that these new projects plan on dumping tokens before the cycle right or you know into the cycle usually we see that in usually we see that inflation of the project or that dilution of the project after the bull run or peak top of the bull run where everybody is starting to say help this is the top and that's when you start to see 
dilution within the project. So I think heading into the next cycle, we're safe from that. Um, but again, a lot of these t tokens, in my opinion, I will personally be head looking to get out at the top of the cycle. But that's me. Um, to put that into perspective, if you was to buy 15,000 BROCK tokens, um, that would be around 1,000 bucks. That 15,000, if if family BROCK was able to hit Polygon's current market cap, we're not even talking about all-time highs. We're talking about current market cap. That $1,000 would be roughly worth $714,000. And hey, let's say BROCK doesn't make it to Polygon. Even if it just does a 151X, and hits a $1.1 billion market cap sitting at $10.70, that $1,000 would be worth $160,000. I mean, who who, who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to use, who doesn't need 160 grand, right? So in my opinion, BitRock has a lot of potential. It's a layer two. Layer twos will be huge in the next cycle. It's already a top narrative. It's been literally going crazy for the last two to three years. And I think as the momentum in the space becomes more bullish and the sentiment changes, B Rock will be one of those projects that um that will uh, um, capitalize off the potential in the tech, right? The tech is a little bit different. We don't see too many layer twos that are um that are uh, uh, interoperable, right? So you can see here, BitRock is a Ethereum IBFT 2.0 proof of authority side chain with a near zero native gain. So yes, it's a side chain. I keep saying it had its own chain. It's a side chain, right? Layer two, um, but again, um inoperable right they have a dex they have tokens they, they're building out an entire ecosystem and the project just has been growing man tune into some of the, the things that they're doing on twitter the amas the stuff that they talk about or just type in a uh, dollar sign brock and see you know what some of the experts are saying about this project and how it could be massive in the next crypto cycle y'all let me know what y'all think about bitrock let me know in the comments what your favorite layer two is I, I had to drop this on the channel right i was you know what i mean the patreon we already know what's up but i had to bring b rock up to the main course y'all let me know what y'all think about bit rock it's your boy crypto millie i'll see you in the next one